Hi. So, um, after I showed you the three squishies, um, it, it actually took me one hour to do this. So I'm going to tell you two urban legends. Yeah, one urban legend and a Japanese urban legend. So the first urban legend is called Videotape. Um, I think you might know this before. I think you, if you know Britty 44, I think you've already watched it. But for those who don't know it, I'm going to tell the story now. So years ago, there was a group of three girls who went to high school together. They were all best friends, and one night during the summer holidays, they decided to have a sleepover party. The rain is really loud. They spent all day planning their sleepover, and because they were all horror fans, they decided to rent a scary movie. It was late at night when the three girls piled into a car and drove down to their local video renter, rental store, but it was closed. Eventually, they found a, a little shop that was located in a side street. The girls could not agree on a film to rent. The woman in the counter told them that she had just a thing for the girls to watch. While they were waiting, one of the girls noticed... I thought it was like an insect or a, or a roach. It was actually just a dirt. While they were waiting, one of the girls noticed a video lying on the counter. No label, and it was so dirty. Stop rain! I'm doing a video! Just then, the woman came and slammed the tape, pulling it away from the girl's hand. And the woman said, That's not something you girls should be watching the woman said. Eventually, while the woman was in the back room finding the right movie for them, they actually stole the tape and put it in their purse. Later that night, they watched the tape. They put, they put the tape in the video recorder and pressed play. All of a sudden, the power went out. However, the television was still on. The video started The video started playing and on the screen, they saw a woman tied to a wooden stake. I transferred in my bathroom because I'm really scared. So yeah, the video started playing and on the screen, they saw a woman tied to a wooden stake surrounded by angry men. The woman screamed out a curse saying that all who witness her death would be dead. The girls were terrified. They thought it was a prank. So they all decided to return the tape immediately. So I returned here, facing my fears. But let's continue. So when they returned to the shop, it was gone. It was an empty lot. And two days after, I'm facing like this so that I can see the whole room. The first girl was floating in a pool. The second was found in the middle of a park. And the third was found in a furnace. Now, we are gonna talk about another story. It's, another, it's a Japanese urban legend called The Red Room. Actually, I was about to do... Um, Kachi Sake Ona. That's really uncommon urban, urban, ur, urban legend. So I managed to do the red room. So there was this one boy who was so much addicted to internet. Watch my videos, boy. Subscribe. So she was, and she ha he has this best friend which told him about the red room. So, um, after school, she, um, he checked, I, I kept saying she, he checked um, his 
lap, I mean computer, to find about all of that red room stuff. And there was this, it was, um, his screen was completely red. And I actually memorized it, so I don't need to look at here. And, um, there was this question saying, do you like? Do you like? What is that? Do they like? Do you like what? Do you like my YouTube channel? Uh. So, yeah, it says, do you like? So he closed the window and it, it opened and he closed again numerous times. It, it, it's keeping, you know, getting opened and, and this time, the question changed. It says, do you like the red room? I paused it for a minute because my brother talked to me. So, yeah. Then, he saw a list of names. And from the bottom, he saw his best friend's name. The one who told him about the red room. And then the next day, um, he was absent from school, so her, his classmates, his teachers, was really expecting nothing happened to him dangerous. But they saw on a newspaper, they saw horrible news that the boy committed um, suicide, painting his room red with his own blood. That's the Japanese urban legend. Actually, we just did seven minutes. I can see it right now. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe and like. Sweet dreams.